Today I'm going to show you how to start an IV in the wrist. We're going to use some local anesthetic to make it more comfortable for the patient. And we're going to go ahead and draw blood for our PRF application, which is platelet-rich fibrin. First, most important thing is making certain the patient is in the appropriate position. As you can see here, the patient's reclined. If you're going to start an IV, we do not want the patient sitting upward. The arm needs to be supported, and it's best that the arm is at the level of where you're going to actually start your IV. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the wrist here to start the IV on this patient. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a tourniquet. The tourniquet is applied by having the patient lift their arm, drop the tourniquet on the inside, we grab it from underneath, we're going to pull, loop over, pinch, and wrap this underneath, just like so. We're going to have the patient open and close their hand, open all the way, close all the way, open all the way, close all the way, and the patient's going to continue to do that. It's going to cause venous congestion and the veins are going to stand out more. I'm going to put some gloves on. If you're starting an IV in the wrist, you want to make sure that there's good support here under the wrist. So I'm going to take the patient's wrist and I'm going to bend it like this. It's going to make the vein pop out more. She has a very good vein, but we're still going to use local anesthetic. We started here because it's very sensitive. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take an alcohol pad. We're going to cleanse the area. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to administer local anesthetic. This is a lidocaine, plain lidocaine with no epinephrine. You can see the bevel. We want the bevel facing superior. And we're going to bend this a little bit so it makes it easier to give a subdermal injection. The patient still has her fist closed. The tourniquet is still on. I'm going to palpate where the vein is. You can see it. I'm going to rotate the wrist slightly right over the vein. We're not going into the vein. This is going to be superficial. We're going to go just underneath the skin, just like so. And you're going to see a little wheel that's going to pop up call it a subdermal wheel, and that's the local anesthetic. So that's going to make it more comfortable for the patient. I'm going to take a little gauze, I'm going to wipe this off, and now when we go through that specific area, it's going to be comfortable. We're going to take a 22 gauge catheter, and when we insert the needle, it's going to be roughly at about a 15 to 20 degree angle as it inserts actually into the vein. I'm going to support the catheter with my finger. The patient's arm is supported. I'm going to do a little tapping here to make the vein pop out more. We're going to palpate where the vein is at. And then when I insert the needle, we're going to go through the same area that we did the subdermal wheel of, 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 of the lidocaine. We're going to hold the wrist. I'm going to insert the vein and we're going to look for the flashback. A little pressure here. Sometimes when you have gloves on, you can't feel where the vein is at. So as long as you have one glove on, then usually is acceptable as long as you don't get blood on you. You can see the flashback in the needle. I'm going to insert the catheter forward into the vein. And as I pull out, you're going to see the blood start to come out. I'm going to put pressure here. I'm going to pull out the needle, retract it for safety purposes. This is an adapter, what we call an adapter button for injection with actually a needle. We're going to secure this on like so. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to hold the wings so I don't get blood on me. I'm going to tighten this. What we're going to do now is we're going to put on what we call a tegaderm. This is an occlusive barrier that we put over this to provide this to be secure. I'm going to take this off. Now the tourniquet is still on. The patient's going to open her hand. This here is what we call a vacuette. This is so we can actually draw blood into the tubes. We're going to insert this into the button. I'm going to stabilize. You can see the flash that came through. And then we're going to take the actual vacutainer. The patient's going to squeeze their hand. I'm going to insert the tube. And you're going to see blood come into the tube by the pressure. This is how we draw the blood that we need for the PRF. We're going to let that fill all the way up. If this becomes problematic, you can always take the patient's arm and you can bring it over to the side like so, 
So that way, it's lower than the heart and it'll actually fill up faster. Once the tube is full and you have all the blood that you need, you're going to support the vacuette. You're going to take out the vacutainer tube. You can see that we have blood completely inside of it. Hand that to my assistant. We're going to remove this. Once we're done, patient's going to open their hand. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put the protective cap on here so that way the needle's secure. And then we're going to remove the tourniquet on the patient. That's how we draw PRF.